Hi guys, I'm Clem and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing the How Well Do You Know Your Book tag. I think it's a tag. And this was created by Jesse over at Jesse the Reader, but I saw it on uh, literally Lindsay. I think that's the name of her channel. Like, I'm sorry, Lindsay. I think that's how you called. But anyway, I'm going to link uh, both JC and Lindsay video uh, in the description box down below. I just discovered Lindsay and I love her. She's so nice. Like, I love what she's doing. So go check her channel at just after you've seen my video. So basically what you have to do is that I've asked on Twitter and also on Bookstagram, but also I did some myself because I didn't have enough. So you pick your shelves and you count the different shelves you have. So I have 12, like 6 on this one and 6 on this one. There are actually more than 6 on each of those, but the books, like the shelves really down uh, aren't really interesting. So I have 12 shelves, so I ask people to pick a number between 1 and 12. And then I have approximately around 20 books on each shelf, so I ask them to pick a number between 1 and 25. And so I'm going to, for each question, I'm going to pick a number of a shelf and then a number for a book, and I will have to answer a question about this book. You're going to see it's pretty easy to understand, so I'm going to get right into it. So the first one is, without looking at the description, tell us what the book is about. And my numbers are 4 and 22. So, um, Milk and Honey by Rupi Kaur. So this book is a poetry book about Rupi Kaur's life. And there are four categories. And basically she's talking about love sex, her life, um, the struggle to be a woman sometime, her mom, no this is uh, Amanda Lovelace, basically it's poetry about her life and relationship with men, but relationship in general and love, that's pretty much it and there's no description so I hope it was useful to you. The second question is, without looking it up, what is the genre of this book? And my numbers are 5 and 17. Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Royal, so this is a contemporary and a YA. This is pretty easy. Like, I don't think it's something else. No, no. I want this. Next is, without looking at the book, tell us what is on the cover. And my numbers are 9 and 13. So I'm not looking at it, but it's a conjuring of lights. N. On the Conjuring of Light, you have someone in black sitting on the throne. <laughs> is he in black or not? And there is a crown, but the crown is not really on the head of the people or the person. And you have two dark circles or two circles here. It's basically black and white. I don't think there is red on this one. Or maybe the throne is red or the person on the throne is red. Basically, for me, there is someone sitting on the throne. Oh, it's not circles, it's triangles, but you see? Someone is sitting on the throne, a red throne, and the crown is like, not really on the person. So, I nailed it. Next is, without looking it up, what is the main character's name? And my number are 1 and 23. And this is my classic shelf. And I've got The Labors of Hercules by Agatha Christie, and it's a uh, Hercule Poirot book. I'm sorry, I'm saying the French way. So, the main character is Hercule Poirot. Or I could pour it, I could pour it. I mean the main character in Agatha Christie, so killed it. Next one is without looking uh, name a side character and my numbers are 6 and 18. I've got a pretty easy one for this one because I've got Harry Potter and the half blood priest but in French and so I can name any side characters but I'm going to name Neville Longbottom in this one because I feel it in this one, yes in this film. Easy? Yeah, I never is in each book, but I could also name Luna Lovegood or so many, so many people. Next is guess how many pages the book has without looking. If you guess 25 below, 25 above the number, you can count it as a win. And my numbers are 3 and 17. My Plain Jane by the Lady Jane is... Um, this book is um, pretty, like, not thin. It's pretty not in this sentence, but uh, still, um, I'm going to say it's at least 
400 pages because I've read this and I remember reading it but I don't remember how many pages so I feel like there's at least 400 pages maybe 500 pages I'm going to say 515 maybe let me see it's such a fail like oh my gosh there are five, 447 pages. I failed miserably. Then we have to, without looking it up, what rating did you give this book? If you land on a book you haven't read, pick a new set of numbers. And my numbers are 4 and 17. And I've got uh, Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Madsen and it was not my fave, so I definitely didn't give it a uh, 5 stars, but like right now, I don't know if I gave it 4 stars or 3 stars. Maybe because it's Morgan Maston, I gave it 4 stars. Maybe. I'm going to say 4 stars and I'm going to check right now on Goodreads. So, I gave it 5 stars. I'm changing my rating right now, this book is 4 stars not five. So does it count as a win? So for the next uh, questions, I didn't have uh, enough numbers, so I had to, I have two marks. So this one, there are the numbers of shells, so I'm going to pick one for each question. And the next one is my Bemax, and there are the numbers of books, so I'm going to pick one in this one. It is without looking, where does this book take place? My numbers are eh, 1 and 18. No Finger Abbey by Jane Austen. So this is happening in England and at some part it's happening in Bath, I think. And that's pretty much it. So I won. Without looking, what are the parents' names? I don't know. And my numbers are 24 and 6. This time I have my Gryffindor edition of the first Harry Potter and so the parents' names are Lily and James Potter. I have so many other parents. Without looking at the hardback, what colour is the book under the dust jacket? And my numbers are 15, I mean shelves 8 and book 15. Are uh, Renegades by Marissa Meyer and for me Underneath this book is blue, just like this one, and I think the spine is red. I feel like this is it. I won! Yeah, but the spine is not red, but I mean, like the spine was just something I had it for fun, but the, the book is blue, so I won. The game numbers I very much feel like a heavy trinket, except it's not like to send children to die. Without looking, is there anything on the hardback, like an imprint or an image of some sort? So the number are shelf 11 and book 7. And this is vicious and I think I've watched once what was on the hardback. And I feel like there, there is a weapon of some sort here. I feel like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say, it. like maybe please be, be, there is something I'm sure. Oh, it's black. I forgot it was black struggling to do oh there is something but it's not weapon so I think it half counts as a win because there is the main character I haven't read this book yet I really need to I think it's Victor or Eli or one of the two characters so there is something so I almost won this one right without taking the dust jacket off what is the color of the font on the art back my numbers are 3 and 14 so, to all the boys I loved before by Jenny Han, and I feel like the font is black. Like, for me it's black. Isn't it black? Yes, it's black. But I can't take off the dust jacket again. So you see, it's black! Without looking, do the chapters have titles or are they numbered? And my numbers are on nine, shelf, shelf 9 and book 10. So this is A Study in Charlotte by Britannica Valero. And I don't know. 
I feel they're just numbered, like there's no title to it. Am I wrong? Yeah! Look! One beautiful number. Without looking in, in, at the book cover, does it have an award on it? And I have shelf 2 and the 12th book. I'm not looking at it, but this is the 4th book in the Cassandra Clare uh, uh, Mortal Instruments series. And for me, there's no award on it because it's uh, the English one, like the very colourful. And for me, there's nothing on it, no stamps, no anything. Yeah, right, nothing. You see? I won. Again. Without looking, does this book have any author blurbs on the front cover and is on shelf 11 and the third book? So this is the first book in the Miss Peregrine's and for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs and I feel like uh, since it's the first book there is no author blurbs on it and for me the cover is really aesthetic so I don't feel like they will put uh, author blurbs on it, it will destroy everything. Yeah, this is my victory dance. And yeah, I'm embarrassing myself. Without looking, does the book have a description on the back? And my numbers are 8 and 20. So this is Wonder Woman Warbreaker by uh, Lee Bardigo. And for me, the description is here, like, you know, on the, this jacket inside. And not on the back, because on the back for me that's just a symbol. So let's... Oh yeah, that's just a quote, and the description is here. So, I don't, I'm not sure this counts as a description, like for me, because it says she will become a legend, Wonder Woman, but first she is Diane, Princess of the Amazon, and her fight is just beginning. Actually, this is a description, so I'm not not sure if I won this one. What do you think? Like, uh, tell me, tell me. Did, did. My bookmark... Why? I'm sorry, but I've been looking for this bookmark for so long. Why are they here? This is just happiness, like... My fave out here. I'm so happy. Without looking, does this book have an author photo? And my numbers are... Book 19th... On the 8th shelf. The Language of Thorn uh, by Lee Bardigo, so this is, I'm not going to explain what the book is about, but I don't feel like there is a photo of Lee Bardigo because uh, it's once again very aesthetic and uh, but, like the, there's no dust jacket so I don't think they would put a photo on the, on the art back and I'm not sure. There is one. No. No. I'm winning this thing. Yeah, no. Oh, you see, no photo. Without looking it up, uh, is this author using a pen name and my number are 10 and 16? So I've got uh, Endgame, The Calling by James Frey and for me, like, James Frey sounds like a proper name, like, not something uh, he would make it up and I'm... I'm... nothing. Uh, Let me see. For me, James Frey is not a pain name. I'm going to look it up and I'm going to put it here and we'll see if I have one or not. Without picking what POV is this book written in, first or third, and my numbers are one and one. And I've got The Wizard of Oz by uh, Frank Bohm, and I've never read this, so I don't know. I'm going to say, um, third one. Like, I feel is there something written in the third one. Dorothy lived in the midst of a great Kansas prairies, so yeah, this is a third person book. Without looking, are there any picture or graphic in this book? And my number are 4 and 17. Uh, so, uh, Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson. And for me, there are no thing. Like, for me, maybe there is a list, but I don't think it counts like at something. Oh, oh, it's upside down. Like, the only thing we have is those sort of thing, so I don't know if it counts. No, I think, like, I, I actu I'm actually right, like, there's nothing. 
Without looking, does it have an epilogue? So my numbers are 11 and 4. All the city by Ransom Riggs, and for me there are no epilogues in it. Let me check. No. Yeah, no. No epilogue. Without looking, does this book have a prologue? And my numbers are four, 5 and 18. Almost Midnight by Rainbow Rowell, and this doesn't have a prologue because it's a collection of short stories, so no prologue needed. Uh, without looking, is this book signed? So my numbers are 12 and 2. So this is uh, uh, The Sea of Monster, uh, or the second book in the Percy Jackson trilogy uh, series in French, so I um, know it's not signed uh, because uh, it's a book I have for a long time, and so no, it's not signed anywhere. So, so the archive by the Schwab, I haven't read this book yet, but I feel like no, there is nothing on the pages, and I'm right, do you see it? Nothing. Without looking, do the chapters Ada have design on them and my numbers are 7 and 14. So, Jemina by uh, J. Christoph and Amy Kaufman and for me there are no real chapters, so there is no design. So, I don't know if I should pick something or not, but like no chapters, so no design. Without looking, are the acknowledgements in the front or in the back of the book and my numbers are 4 and 3. So, uh, Dumpling by Julie Murphy, but this is the French edition and I feel like in French books we often put the acknowledgements at the end. Yeah, it's right here. It's written in French, but it's here. But looking what year was this book published and my numbers are 10 and 5. A Number in the Ash by Sabatayir. I want to say... 2014. No, 2015. I'm sure I'm like way too far. I'm right, look, it's right here. 2015, yay. And last but not least, without looking, what year did you read this book? And my numbers are 5 and 24. I was in high school. I want to say 2014. I have no way to check this because it was way before I um, had good reads, but for me it wasn't when I was 18, for me I was 16 or 17, so 2013 or 2014. I have no idea, but it was a long time ago. So yeah guys, that's it for this challenge. I feel like I know pretty well my books and I'm pretty surprised because uh, I'm not good at remembering books at all. So I'm pretty happy with the results. Um, I hope you liked it. Uh, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and to like this video. Also, if you want to do it, then I could tag you. So feel free to do it and to tell me in the comments when you do it because I would love to see yours. And yeah, I will see you next time. Bye, guys.